this is this is how I'm gonna stay in focus for the whole video. Hey guys, this better. This, this... <laughs> hey guys, so today I am back and I have a little. Oh my god. You guys know that my absolute favourite videos are La Shores. They're my favourite to watch, to film, to shop for. I just, I love Lush. And I love their holiday collections so much. I go crazy over Easter. Love the Halloween and of course Christmas. But I've never actually tried any of their Valentine's Day range. Um, I think it's always just because Valentine's Day isn't and an Easter holiday so I don't go somewhere where it's lush for example you know Halloween's always at a half term and Easter's on the Insta break Christmas obviously on the Christ Christmas break Valentine's Day though is just like in the middle of February when there's just no holidays before it or around it which is annoying but this year I was determined I was like I'm gonna get some Valentine's Day products this year and I did I have a big bag well it's like an average size bag but there's, there's some stuff in it so. Let's dive in. And before we get into the video, I just want to say that this is a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube. Her channel name is Romy Lynn or Romy Lynn. I, I'm really bad with saying things, but yes, I will leave her link down below. She is doing a Valentine's Day outfits, I believe, and I think she's already doing like a Valentine's Day makeup look. Um, and yeah, her channel is so cute. She's so nice, and just just her thumbnails are goals. Like, you'll see her thumbnails and you'll just be sold because they're, they're gosh, like, why aren't my thumbnails that nice? So yeah, make sure you go check out her video and subscribe to her channel, give it a big thumbs up and all of that. Go share the love. Um, so yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get into the Lush haul. That wasn't cheesy at all. I'm so excited. Even though it's like almost 10 o'clock and I was supposed to be doing my like history coursework tonight. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> Priorities. Also, can we just talk about how pretty this bag was? So the first thing that I've pulled out of the bag is this lovely bath bomb here. This is called the Cupid's bath bomb, I think. Um, and it's just, it smells like raspberries and it's just like a pink, with a pink heart with a uh, Cupid's bone through it. And I think that this is £4.25. Next, I'm so excited about this, I have the Prince Charming shower creams. I fell in love with Lush shower creams when I tried the Lord of Misrule. Um, it was in this year's Halloween Lush haul and it was in last year's as well. And I just, I love the shower creams. They lather up so nicely, especially when you use them with a loofah. And they just, they just, oh, they're just amazing. Like, I love their shower gels, but their shower creams, they just take it to a new level. This is pink, so obviously I had to buy it. And it has pomegranate juice and grapefruit oil, which I love. I love both those fruits, especially pomegranate. And also has sweet marshmallow root and vanilla pod infusion. So if you like sweet and fruity scents, you're gonna love this. And I think this cost me £5.50, which isn't bad because honestly, these last you so long. Like a little goes such a long way, I can't even tell you. So yeah, I'm so excited. The next thing I have is another bath bomb. And this is the Rose Bombshell bath bomb. When I saw this in like pictures and on videos, I thought it'd be a lot more pastel. It is quite a bright pink, but I just think it's gonna be amazing. Um, it does smell very like rosy, very earthy. So if you're not into like really, really sweet scents, but you don't like scents which are just like the cinnamon ones, this is nice because it's like floral, but at the same time it's not too sweet. But yeah, this is just gonna make a very pretty pink bath, I think, unless it has like, pure blue and I'm filming a video and I can't talk to you. Hey. Are you busy? No. Yes you are, you're filming. <laughs> Do you want to be on my video? No, not really. <laughs> okay. I'm okay, does my skin look bad because I didn't want to put foundation on because I didn't put it on and also I couldn't bother with eyeliner. You look good. But like Mount Everest. Oh, it's big. No, I don't see it. I can literally see it in my viewfinder. No, video It's my Lush haul. Are you behind? I don't know, we talked about this like last week. 
Yeah, well, I only went shopping on like Saturday, so Mondays are my filming days, okay? I'm not behind, I'm on schedule. I'm gonna get this video edited tonight and I'm gonna upload it tomorrow. Okay. And this again was £4.25. By the way, Lush have made their bath bombs more expensive. Why? Like, I know they've only put them up by 20p, but it's it's still like it was under four pounds, now they're over four pounds, and that's it's just a little bit painful, and I just I wish they wouldn't do that. Next I have the Lover Lamp Bath Bomb. This has crumbled a little bit on the side, but um it's, it's fine. Basically this might look like it's a little bit boring because it's mainly white, but these little hearts here, I don't know if you can see them too well, they're like oil, so when you put it into the bath, like this, it will like, I think the hearts kind of like oil out, do you, melt, do you know what I mean? Um, so I think that's going to be really nice. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the smell. You know when you have a bite and you have to put some cream on it, it, it kind of smells like that, but it's it's not bad it's not like it's a nice smell it's just I don't know if you like this kind of smell you're gonna like this um but yeah I was just so intrigued by the oil stuff and I just thought it'd be to make such a nice like simple but not too simple bath so love the lamp bath bomb £4.25 so the next thing that I have is also a little bit broken but but broken it's of course the unicorn horn bubble bar I couldn't try the Lush Valentine's range without trying this. This was, I wanted to try this for so long, you don't even understand. Um, wow. It's so, it's just, it's so like, it's so like pretty and iridescent. It's just, it's just amazing. I'm so excited to use this. It has broken off a little bit at the top, but that's okay because I know that you're supposed to like crumble them. Um, and so yeah, I thought the smell of this would be like a lot more like sweet just because like, look at the colors. This is just gonna make the most amazing bath. I just, I can't wait. I can't wait, I'm so excited. This was also £4.25, which I thought was really good considering it's the same price as the bath bombs. And the bath bombs you only use pretty much once, unless you do cut them in half and use them twice. Whereas this is one of those which you can use two, maybe even three times. So I thought that was like really good value for money in comparison to the bath bombs. I was like expecting this to be quite a bit more to be honest. And then last, but certainly not least, I have the Kiss Lip Scrub. I, oh, I'm so excited about this. I don't know how it smells. It smells so sweet. See, I was worried this would be too similar to the bubblegum one, but it's not actually too similar to it. I feel like it might be the same scent as this, except this one is just a lot stronger. But yeah, I love the smell of this. It has like the cute little hearts on the top. Um, which I just, I just, I just like that, and yeah, I, I'm very excited about this. I do collect the Lush lip scrubs. This, this is my fourth one. I use them absolutely every single day. They're just so nice to scrub your lips, and if you scrub these, scrub your lips in the morning, scrub them at night, and scrub them, put a lip balm on, and then put like your lip products on, and it just, especially if you're wearing like a matte lip, like I'm wearing a Kylie lip right now, and if I wore this without like scrubbing my lips just it wouldn't be as comfortable to me and I would not like it as much so yes I love the Lush lip scrubs and I do kind of collect them this was £5.75 even though the rest of them are £5.50 so I'm like why these last so long literally I have my bubblegum one and my Santa one which I have had over a year a year and a half these can last me like six months to a year they last so long so yes I just I recommend Lush lip scrubs and this one smells so that is everything. That was dangerous. There could have been a lot of bath bomb residue in there, but there wasn't, luckily. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did, then don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, of course. And if you've tried any of the Lush Valentine's range, then make sure to comment down below what your favourite products are, or just any of the Lush products, really, because I'm always looking to try new things out, and I'd like to know what you guys love. Of course, don't forget to subscribe just to see more videos from me and always know when I upload and 
you can watch all my videos if you want to. If you don't, that's fine, but the option's there, so make sure that you subscribe so that I always just pop up like, I've uploaded, and then you can be like, hmm, I want to watch that, or hmm, I don't. You decide. Do I want to watch Elisa's video? You decide. That don't work, really. No. <laughs> and don't forget to go and check out Roma's channel. It will be linked down below. And yes, I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye! I'm literally so sorry for being such a weirdo in this video. I know I am a bit weird in all my videos because that's just kind of my personality. And um, yes, I think it's just the bright lights. They just, they just, they just oomph me up. And also, lush, lush oomphs me up. So that's why I was weird. Okay, thanks for watching now. Bye.